Mm. <laughs> so, what do you envision? Um, I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be really girly. Like her room's gonna be really girly. I'm thinking pink. Yeah, pink. And um, a bookshelf of like all 35 of the Babysitter's Club series with a bunch of dolls. And I think we should have a poster of like Boys to Men. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't think so. What? Why not? First of all, it's going to be a boy. No, it's not. The room will be blue. He will have a train set, a football, a soccer ball, and a basketball. And with a basketball. Hoop. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And my son, he's going to be educated. Of course. I'm going to purchase the entire up-to-date Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. Okay. And a poster of Janet Jackson. What? Yeah, Miss Jackson, oh, no, if you're no. nasty. Wait, <laughs> the cute Janet Jackson or the thirsty Super Bowl show your breasts Janet Jackson? <laughs> Cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm so worried. <laughs> My God. But you have to promise me one thing. Sure. Anything, baby. Promise me that he or she will not play cops and robbers. Oh, man, that's what kids, boys and girls do. But we have to break that cycle. I mean, I'm, I know you heard about the kids around here being shot. Come on now, Tina. That has nothing to do with us. First of all, we don't live in the hood. I can't tell. And second, we don't live in the hood. Really? And third, <laughs> we still don't live in the hood. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm glad this is funny to you. I'm serious. You have to promise me. Our kids will not play cops and robbers. No toy guns. <laughs> no video games that promote violence. None of that. Tina. Does that include Halloween? Oh, you know what? <laughs> really? Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Besides all that, he or she won't have any time to play with any of those. Especially if we stick with our game plan. Now, according to this magazine, the top spots are Fortune 500. CEO. Okay, yeah, CEO. See, I like that. See? And cross-platform media app designer developer. Mm -hmm. Or how about a media network owner? That's a good one. Well, only if he or she creates their own and not try to purchase one like CBS or NBC or anything like that. <clears throat> Where was I? <laughs> Oh, media network owner developed and created from scratch. Okay. How that sound? Yeah, that's better. Okay, major team owner. No, 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 I got the perfect one. This is perfect. It ain't even on the list. I'm scared. Rapper. Yes, what? yes, y'all. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, there would not be any rappers in this family. Hell no, no I agree with you. Not. No rappers. Oh my god. <laughs> you are a mess. Baby. I love you. I love you too. Let me go downstairs and check it out. See if there's any new magazines. <laughs> Hey, hey. Uh, I will take my time. Thank you very much. Hurrying is what got us in this in the first place. <laughs> Javon! Javon, wake up! Hmm? Wake up! There's somebody downstairs for you. I'm tired. That's because you should have went to bed last night when I told you to. So get up out the bed and come downstairs. I got a surprise for you. Come on! Mom, I was in the middle of a mission. You can't expect me to stop and let my men down. Boy, if you don't get your little nappy-headed ass up out of the bed and come downstairs, come on, I got a surprise for you, come on! No, there's not. It's not Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa. It, okay. 
If you don't get your ass up out the bed, it's gonna be some problems. So get up and come on, somebody else says for you. Well, Ma. One more time. One more time, I swear. Okay, you got five minutes. Five minutes. I'm getting up. Dad, did you do lots of missions? Did you bomb up ISIS? Did you kill a lot of people? Did you do hand-to-hand -hand combat? Whoa, 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 son. Let's, let's, let's get things straight. First of all, that's not what modern soldiers do. What we do is go into the areas where the bad guys pick on and bully the innocent. We protect the innocent by disarming the bad guys and restoring order to the country. So you're basically trying to tell me you're just a policeman? Well, kind of. But a high special trained policeman. Huh? See, that's what I'm talking about. Mom doesn't believe it, but I work out every single day, and video games teach me technical skills. So when I grow up, I want to be just like you. No, son. You have to be better than me. Your job, your mission, is to reach and surpass. I want you to be a general. Matter of fact, a five star general. I can promise you that, Dad. I'm promise you right now that I will be a five star general. See, that's why I'm proud of you. And also, your mom's been telling me you've been doing very well in school. So I know that you'll excel in whatever you put your mind to. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love for you to continue the family military tradition. But I will be just as proud and just as honored as your father in whatever you choose. Say, let's go to the Waffle House, man, and get us some grub. And after that, let's hit the court, get some game. Oh, okay, Dad, you ain't ready for this. You know, I think it's really cute that you come by and take Javon to the park and play ball and stuff. But he needs more. We need more Jeffrey. I cannot do this by myself. I mean, he doesn't get into trouble, but that's by the grace of God. We need you. And this is why I'm trying to explain this to you. He needs you to show him how to be a man, how a man is supposed to act. What are you talking about? I know you was listening, so I know you heard me tell the boy he needs to grow up and be a better man than me. Damn, Sophia, what more do you want? We deserve more, Jeffrey. We need more. And what about our little girls? Our two beautiful little girls that you said you would protect them. You swore you was gonna protect them. What about them? Oh, my Jesus. You haven't even asked about them. And you've been home for the past two weeks on leave. So where you been? Jesus. Where are they? They can come to the court and play ball with me in jail. They can sit on the bench or do their nails or something. Why are they? I bet you they still sleep, right? No, they're not sleep. I got them up early this morning and I took them to the church for a program. They have a group called um, the Daughters of Zarephath. So they're there and they're, they're teaching them how to conduct themselves as a woman, as young women. Zarephath? Yeah. I always knew them girls could sing. I bet you they're just as good as Destiny's Child. You know, music runs in the family. Destiny's Child? Yeah. No, Goofy, it's not a music group. It's a mentoring group at church. Listen, they need you. They need you too. And, and this is not a game, Jeffrey, I don't know. Why you think this is a game? This is not a game. You are a man. And we need the man of the house to be here. This is not a game. Jeffrey, come on. Listen, I, I, can't, I can't keep this up. Okay, they need their father. And I need you to step up.
morning. Today I'm here to present to you a message that I have received. I don't do sermons, I do messages. And today's message to each and every one in this room is uncommon grace. And it comes out of Lamentations 3, that's where we're going to begin, verses 22 through 23. Because of the Lord's faithfulness, we do not perish. For his mercies never end, they are new every morning. So we have to understand that God's mercies are with us every day we wake up, every time we move. That's why you hear him say in the old church that, you know what, I'm glad that he woke me up this morning. Thank you, God, for waking me. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for another day. But the reason we're talking about uncommon grace and the, Lord, the fact that the Lord's faithful love is always with us is because Jesus came down and he did uncommon things. They were against him because he chose to love those that seemed to be unlovable. Kayla, mommy needs you to sit up straight. You're going to have to stay in form because you're going to be a prima ballerina. Yes, mommy. And be careful not to mess up your dress. You never know when opportunity is going to knock, so you have to stay prepared. Oh my God, Mom, would you give it a break? You give it a break and lower your voice. We're in a church. Right, and we're here to worship God, not Kayla. And if we would get to church on time, we wouldn't have to start rocking these back seats. God, where were you when this, that, and the other went wrong? Where were you when the situation, what are you going to do about it? And the question was answered by God that I did something, I created you. You have the same power that God has to create a difference in the community. You have the same power to let love flow out from the inside out. You have the same power to control what happens in your households. You have the same power to control what happens in your individual lives. You have that same power to change your communities for the better. The thing is, we have to not let the one situation and one circumstance stop us from moving forward. We can't let one gunshot, one death, one bad grade. We can't let one imperative remark between a husband and a wife. We can't let those things stop us from becoming who God wants us to be. You have the power to control what happens in your life. Sometimes it seems like life is not fair. And yes, you're right. Life is not fair, but neither is favor. The favor is on everyone in this room. So you have everything that it takes to be the leader in your community, a leader in your household, a leader on your job. You have to be that same one who gave, gives uncommon grace just like Jesus did. The grace that does not, grace is unmerited favor. Grace means that you didn't deserve it. I don't know how I get volunteered to put Bibles away every service. Excuse me? You're volunteering your services unto the Lord. Nothing, Ma, nothing. It's like she's stalking. Mommy, Mommy! Kayla, baby, remember what Mommy told you. Don't get dirty. As a matter of fact, go get the hand sanitizer out of Mommy's bag. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. That's all you talk about is Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. I mean, you act like she's the only one. First of all, I don't like your tone. So watch how you talk to me. Second, she's not the only one. And third, I treat you both equally. Seriously? Seriously, Ma? You're gonna stand there in my face and tell me that you treat Jasmine, us equally? Jasmine, why are you and Mommy fighting? Oh, Munchkin, you're so cute. I love you. Now go sit down somewhere. Don't talk to your sister that way. Like I was saying, how can you stand there in my face, better yet in God's house, and say that you treat us the same? What did I tell you about your mouth? Okay. Okay, Ma. Let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. Oh yeah, and give me the password. Let's see how many pictures you posted of me on your Facebook page. Or how many pictures you have of me even in your phone. I can't wait to go away to college so I can get away from Go away college. to college? Are you kidding me? You have to pass at least some of your classes. Trust and believe, I want you gone just as much as you want to be gone. So you're sitting in the back. Okay, so you got this. Follow through. Follow through. Make sure you snap your wrist. See the shot. Follow through. Snap.
Good shot. Good shot. Come on, one more game. Come on, you got it. All right. Through, snap your wrist. Come on. Snap your wrist. Oh, yeah. Man. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right. I see you got this, but see, I want you to work a little bit more on your handling skills, okay? Right. Other than that, everything looks perfect. Looks perfect. Yes, sir. Okay. Keep practicing. I got to take this, okay, son? All right. Okay. Hello. Hey, what's up, baby? No, I'm just out here with my nephew. Uh, shoots uh, some hoops real quick. You know, he doesn't have a father figure in his life right now, so. Yeah, you're right. I would really make a good father. Yep. Yeah. You know what, on a matter of fact, when I come over there, how about you wear that dress that I like? That you wear so old man. Is it me or has the world gone crazy? No, girl, it's not you. I can't believe what happened to Tina and that unborn baby. And girl, did you see her husband? Did you see her husband? We should be able to send our kids to school. We should be able to celebrate with our friends and family and colleagues. Okay. We should be able to praise and worship in our own houses, you know? It started when they took prayer out of school. I know that's right. Then they made us stop disciplining our own oh, children. Oh, Lord. And then they made it fashionable for babies to have babies. Oh, my. Okay, and they got a TV show about it. The <laughs> nurse, pregnant in 16 or something, whatever. Oh. I mean, what, what's so great about that? And then they have that show coming on on Sundays. What happened to keep the Sabbath day holy? What happened to that? You know, I don't understand. Girl, do you remember 9-11? Yes. 
Do you remember when the people got together and they worked together? I mean, they, they didn't reach their goal, but at least they stopped that plane from going wherever it was mm-hmm. going and they worked together. That's what we have to do. Why don't we just, we need to work together to stop the mess, to stop all this, this evil in the world. I agree with you. You are absolutely right. We could start in our own neighborhood. That's right. We could start a uh, 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 neighborhood watch. Okay. Yes, but we have to patrol it ourselves. And I don't mind. And we all have our smartphones. Yes, So we, we do. can send texts. We can call. Pictures. We can even take pictures. Amen. Okay. All right, now these terrorists talking about turning up. Now I just feel like blowing something up. Cool. Stacy, did you see that thing? Yeah, I did. I can't forget it. I keep it. seeing that chap. That's something you just can't forget. And who would be that evil to put a, a mother and, a, and an unborn baby in harm's way? Who would do that? Who, I mean, just, I don't get it. There's gotta be some kind of control. We cannot control what the adults gonna do. No. But we can control what our kids are exposed to, like the violence, the video games, all this street stuff. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. What are we gonna do about that? It's, it's, it's a crying shame. It's a crying shame, and I cannot believe that I lived to see the first black president. And we have to do something. I mean, we weren't born with silver spoons in our mouths, but, but it's about choices. America is such a wonderful country. Anybody can, can, can work hard and be somebody. Anybody can work hard and be somebody. It's about choices. Oh my goodness. We need to teach them how to get jobs. Not just jobs at McDonald's, but we need to teach them how to dress and interview. I know that's right. Thank you. And there are too many professionals, too many people that have nothing to do. They need to volunteer their time and mentor our youth and teach them that they can be successful. They can be doctors. They can be lawyers. They can even be the president. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We need to let them see that they can earn it and not be given to them, just hand it out. I know that's right. And we need to make sure they promise us that they are coming back around to help someone else so it can spread in the community. That's right. This is scripture. Yes, it is scripture. And let's not forget the most important thing. Girl, we gotta pray and keep praying. We gotta pray. Yes, we do. Amen. Prayer does change things. That's allegedly, and you of all people, you are, man, look, you know that. There was no video, no evidence, it was nothing. <sighs> this ain't even about me, this is about you and what you need to do. What you need to do is come on down to the center and, and start mentoring some of these kids in the center, man, after you wash your ass. What is all of this? Yeah, probably the ones that killed my wife. <sighs> okay. Look, brother, see these neat guys, man. My G, let me drop some knowledge on you. The seeds need to be nurtured. We as the elders, we were supposed to do this. You know that. Take them in, teach them right from wrong. That's, that's, that's why they walk around calling their sisters and mothers bees in all unflattering terms, man. Yeah, yeah. And peep this. That's right. No other culture does that, though. No other culture does that. Ain't none of my business. Ain't one. And especially, and that's really the problem, when we adopted this whole ain't none of my business attitude, when we see them doing something wrong or headed for the wrong direction, we dropped the ball. Think about it. When we was young and our neighbor caught us doing wrong, what they do? They got in that ass. That's right. They got in that ass. And then they took you home, and then your mom, your dad, sister, brother, or whoever else was there, they got in your ass too. So, so wait a minute. Are you saying this is my fault? No, I'm not saying this is your fault. What I'm saying is, 
We got to break the cycle. How they, they can't do better if they don't know better. That's the last thing Tina said. Look, there's a lot of people out here getting paid off our inactions with the youth. And you know what I'm talking about. You're right. You're right, brother. Thanks. Hey, 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 hey. what I tell you about hugging me? And go wash your ass, man, please. You sitting here soaking in your misery. Man, I'm out of here, man. I'm feeling sorry for you. I'm taking this with me. Do it. So what do you want? I, I, I want to buy a gun. You want to buy a weapon? What for? What for? What for? Did somebody break in your house while you were home? No. Did somebody rob you? No. Someone took something from me. <laughs> That's called robbery, sweetheart. Okay, so what you want? A 22? A 40? A uh, 40 is too big. Okay. How about a 9? That'll work. About a nine. I'll take it. You leaving? Where you going? Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. See, if I didn't insist on us playing basketball, if I didn't insist on that park, if I didn't choose that court. <sighs> That had nothing to do with you, Jeffrey. Okay, that was a gang initiation. The police, the news, everybody said it was a gang initiation. That had nothing to do with you. What See, are you talking you, about? You're not understanding. My son depended on me to protect him. And I failed that mission. I failed my mission as a father. And being that I'm the reason that he's gone, Sophia, you, you, I can't come back from that. We just lost our son and we still have two other daughters. And you're about to leave us? You're about to leave us right now. You're about to abandon us right now. What it is that you want me to do? Cause I don't see the purpose right now. So tell me what the fuck do I'm, am I supposed to do? I want you to be a man. I want you to mentor the other kids in the family. You have two daughters that still need you. Have you forgot about that? There's other young men that need to be mentored in the neighborhood too. Okay, we need you to be a man. We need you to step up and be a, a fucking man. You know what, I hear all that. I'm good. I'm out. What? I'm out. out. I'm out. Deuces. Deuces? What do you mean? What you mean, Deuce says you out? What are you talking about? Okay, so that's what y'all do. Y'all, you, you, you stick your tail between your legs and you run. Right. Run! Then, you fucking coward. You're not a man anyway. You're not a man anyway. And I don't know what I was thinking about. Fuck it with you. Run! Run! And I'm gonna pray that God heals you. Not for us. Not for us. Cause he's been there for you.
Okay, little baby, you're still going to be that prima ballerina, honey. <laughs> and Jasmine, I had a dream about you. You're going to be a doctor. No, surgeon. <laughs> you know mama loves you, right? I love you so much. Jasmine, I see how those boys be looking at you at school. Mm-hmm. Growing up to be a beautiful young lady. Then again, you take after your mother. What can we say, right? <laughs> but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. No, no, baby, not you. Those boys, I don't like how those boys look you up and down like that. Mama's going to handle that. Kayla, you are, you are, you're my sweetheart. But I don't appreciate the way your teacher scolded you in front of everyone yesterday in school. Mama's going to handle that as well, okay? All right. Well, babies, I got to get ready to go. I got to get ready to go to the grocery store, all right? Okay, girls, mommy's going grocery shopping. I don't want either one of you to leave this room. Don't open this door for anyone. I have my keys. Oh, yeah, don't answer that phone either, all right? You know I'll be calling, checking, just to make sure you don't. And no fighting, all right? I don't want to get any complaints from the neighbors. Okay, babies, I love you. I'll see you soon, all right. Why am I even here? Had to be crazy letting that guy talk me into being here with these savages. And for free too? Man. What? And aren't you supposed to knock? I'm sorry, Mr. Warren. No. I'm sorry, Azaria. I just had a rough day. No, week. Anyway, that's no excuse. So, Azaria, how can I help you? As you know, my name is Azaria. My grandmother said the night before I was born, she had a dream. No, let me back up. She said the Holy Spirit told her that's what I should be named. Of course, my mother originally wanted to name me after Shaniqua, her BFF on the fifth floor, but Big Mom threatened to whip the you know out of her if she didn't obey God's word. <laughs> you know, Zara means prophet. Big Mom said Ecclesiastic 619 was for me. Also pray for me that when I speak, God will give me words so that I can tell the secret truth about the good news without fear. I have the work for speaking for that good news and that's what I'm doing now. Anyway, I went to church this Sunday and, and my heart was given a message to give you. God has made us what we are. In Christ, Jesus, God made us new people so that we would spend our lives doing the good things we had already planned for us to do. My God will use his glorious riches to give you everything you need. He will do this through Christ Jesus. In the past, God spoke to our people through the prophets. He spoke to them many times and in many different ways. 
He is speaking to me right now. He's saying that you were placed here for a reason, for his glory. He has activated you and strengthened you to do battle and be victorious. Faith is what makes real the things we hope for. It is proof of what we cannot see. God was pleased with the people who lived a long time ago because they had faith like this. Faith helps us understand that God created the whole world by his commands. This means that the things we see were made by something that cannot be seen. Cain and Abel both offered sacrifices to God, but Abel offered a be better sacrifice to God because he had faith. God said he was pleased with, Abel, with what Abel offered. And so God called him a good man because he had faith. Abel died, but through his faith, he is still speaking. We have all these great people around us as examples. Their lives tell us what faith means. So we too should run the race that is before us and never quit. We should remove from our lives anything that would slow us down and the sin that so often makes us fall. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. I may be killed tomorrow. What are you talking about? You're conscious. You've been conscious. You were supposed to wake others up and collectively do something about all this violence I may fall victim of. What's that you old people say? Each one, teach one. No, sit down, baby. Yeah, you. The bell hasn't even rung yet. And we still have some learning to do. What? What'd you say? No one told you that this was an educational flick. I apologize. Well, you're here now, so why don't you sit back and relax? No, I don't need you to relax. I need you to pay attention. And there will be a test at the end of this chapter.
don't want to be the Ku Klux Klan. Protesting is okay. But progress is better. Everyone that's here, that's viewing this film, that has anything to do with this film, are all here by design. No one is here by accident. Right now, our community is being plagued by disease. I'm not talking about AIDS. I'm not talking about cancer. I'm not talking about lupus. I'm talking about violence, and violence is something that's affecting all of us. But it's something that can be eradicated, but we have to come together on one accord. Maybe you can't go out and protest, but you can make a phone call, you can help your neighbor, you can mentor that kid down the block that needs mentoring. But you gotta do something. Why don't you and your family volunteer at a senior citizen center. Hold a conversation. Ask them what did we do wrong and how would they fix it? I just don't wanna read or hear about you or a loved one being a victim of violence. Just because. Come on y'all, no more, no more. Okay, class is now over. Make sure you do your assignment, because we'll all know if you didn't. I am a mother. I am a mother first. I am a mother. I am mother earth. And all the pain I feel deep, it hurts to the core. As blood drip drops and pours, I can't ignore the commotion. This is energy in motion. Got me in these conditions trying to control my emotions. My energy is coasting. My inner me has spoken. And it said there's been enough bloodshed to fill oceans. Rivers, ponds, streams, and lakes, and oceans. Makes my blood boil you like lava. And like earth's hot springs, I sing. I sing. Align with the black on black violence or the black on black crime. However you want me to word that line. To me it's all genocide and we hope it will subside in due time. But time waits for no one. We need to catch up, run fast. We don't want to relive our past. We want our children to have a better future. Real mental freedom at last. See, mental slavery got you hating me. But when I look in the mirror, all I see is you and you. All you should see is me. 